Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Well, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so apparently I'm matchy-matchy with the wine level today. But I'm not going to let that stop me, because today I'm reviewing the 2017 Mauricio Lorca. It's a red blend from Mendoza, Argentina. 13% alcohol by volume. It normally retails for $19 at Naked Wines. The angel price is $11 per bottle. And uh, it is 50% Malbec, 40% Bonarda, and 10% Syrah. So, interesting red blend. Let's see how it looks. So, from a color standpoint, it's a solid pink on, on the lip. So, I'm gonna give this a, we're gonna give this a dark ruby. All right, so from a nose standpoint, Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely getting that mall back in there. And it, it has, a, it's, it's very earthy, but it reminds me very much of like a Texas High Plains AVA type of grape. It, it has kind of that, it, it does have a slight kind of um, wet earth wet leaves, a little bit of pasture, um, a lot of black cherry, black plum, black berry. I mean, this is just black fruit overall. Uh, I'm getting a hint of, well, first of all, 13% ABV, I'm getting a lot more alcohol than it is than I thought I would. Um, and there's something else there. I want to say it's chocolate, like a dark chocolate note that's coming out there. Yeah. All right, so now, the taste. So, first thing I'm getting is blackberry. The second thing I'm getting are all of those earthy elements. So, those kind of like that wet leaf, or the wet dirt, um, wet leaves, uh, uh, I guess another thing to say is that pasture, especially the pasture. All of that is very strong in this one. Um, and I'm not quite certain how I feel about that because the finish feels a little long, but I don't know if it's the parts that I actually enjoy, if that makes sense. I'm getting more of the fruit on the second taste, so, so more of that black cherries is showing up in the mid-palate. Those earthy elements are really strong, especially in the mid-palate, and going into the finish, they just get stronger to the point where that that black plum drops off and I'm just getting, oh, I'm just getting hit really hard with earth on the end. Like, still. All right, so time for the rating. So Angel Selection, Mauricio Lorca, Red Blend from Mendoza, Argentina. Let's take a look at you. So from a balanced perspective, uh, I mean, overall qualities are, are, are reasonable, but those kind of tertiary notes are a little bit too strong for me right now. Um, from a, a length perspective, you have length. Don't know if it's necessarily the part of it I like, so I'm gonna give you half a point on that one too. Uh, intensity, you're actually fairly me mellow. So uh, one of the things I didn't mention, the acid is probably about a medium acid. Tannins are probably about medium tannins. So it, it's, it's not like a up in your face bold red blend. It's a little bit more subtle. Uh, so I'd say the intensity, uh, you don't really have like a ton of intensity there, but you don't feel out of whack. From a complexity standpoint, you do have some of those other elements. That kind of chocolate note that I was hoping to get, I never got at all. This sort of goes into giving you only like half a point on the balance is because those, those earthy elements are just so strong that if that chocolate was gonna be there, it's, it's not there. And I'm not really getting anything but the earth in the finish. Uh, after the first few seconds of the finish. So, from a complexity standpoint, I give you half a point on that because I'm just getting straight fruit uh, and I'm not getting straight earth, but I would like to see a brighter gamut. So, uh, and with that being said, you get a good. You're a good wine. Uh, I paid $7 for you. Um, the worst wines were $7. And I know I said the angel price was 11 but this came in that kit that I got whenever I got the case of wine, so my price was $7 on that initial kit. But even for $11, it's not a bad wine for you to go out and, and try, especially if you haven't had something like um, 
a Malbec Syrah blend. I know there's Bernarda as, as, as another one of those grape scents in there. It has a lot of heft within the blend. And that Bernarda is probably what's given a lot of those earthy elements, to be quite honest. The Syrah kind of is there to more mellow it out uh, on the finish, which it probably would have been better if maybe there was a little bit more Syrah in there, in my opinion. But overall, not a bad one. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2017 Mauricio Lorca? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.